Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. We're diving into a GDD dashboard that has just been released by Easlo. Um, he is a Notion template creator, and I'll link this template below. It is a pay template, but it's very advanced in terms of its setup. Um, this isn't a sponsorship, but we do include an affiliate link uh, to this one if you do decide to go with it. I'm actually planning to release my own Notion template, uh, which is called Team and Personal Workspace, which should be out in January time. So if you did want to check that out, I'll include a sign-up sheet to that below as well. So let's take a look at this GT dashboard. Very simple in terms of its structure, um, but very helpful. Um, and it does go in, in, into quite a high level of visual detail. So as you can see here, when you land on it, you have got your tasks. And what I really like is you can break your tasks into different views. Um, for example, you could have inbox today, overdue, scheduled, next seven days, and done. So if I'm in today, I can see all of the ones associated to today. I can also see um, overdue ones, um, but I believe they're already transferred over uh, when they're in today. So anything that's overdue is actually pops into today as well. As you can see, this was set for December the 4th and it's December the 6th now. Over on the right hand side, you have a nice clock, which you can customize and even switch to dark mode if you, if you want to. And that actually is the correct time and the hands do move, which is very cool. Uh, probably a good uh, solid use of the API and embedding. On this left hand side, you can see any projects that you're part of. Um, and I'll show you what how projects work in a minute. Uh, but very helpful for being able to sort of vi uh, set things up as well. And you'll notice as well, this is actually locked um, to prevent accidental editing of this. But if you did want to, once you've paid for it, you can like actually um, set up uh, unlocking, um, which, as you can imagine, might be more helpful. Um, you know, if you're sort of doing stuff on the daily. But if you, for example, had a project you could um, or a task that you were willing to bring over, that's probably something that it might be more suitable for. You can also see that uh, the task view appears in a much more visual fashion, a bit like Sansama to some extent, when you've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And this is actually something that Jonathan Stewart created for me a while ago. And I quite liked how this sort of visual stacking works. Um, so being able to have sort of Wednesday, Thursday, more of a week plan, um, and you can see there, it only associates tasks to the days of the week, which is pretty cool. Now, going down, again, even more visual, calendar view. Uh, this is helpful for me to see what's coming up. And you can also see the tasks as part of a project as well, uh, and uh, naturally engage with them here. So being able to see your tasks is, is pretty handy. And um, as you can imagine, relocking this, you could drag stuff in to your projects if you're um so your sorry your tasks if you're looking to sort of break it down uh, per task level now down here you can have active projects um sorry active tasks that are recurring so things like declutter your desk um so these are things that you might want to put on a routine basis and uh, making sure that you check them on uh, the regular so you don't miss out on those sort of habitual stuff that you do now this is the area i really like this is almost like wow all in front of you everything at a glance so on the left this uh, this left hand side you have a sort of so on this left hand side you sort of have a week view it's very similar to that sort of kanban view but you have it in more of a sort of listicle app style you also have any tasks that are associated to specific months so you can actually see um you know all of the sort of month ahead um, and the next month potentially but they're done really neatly in toggles so you're not sort of being too disruptive and also you can see all of the tasks based on the the projects that you've got as well so you can see that project one here has uh, plenty of stuff in it project two etc etc and you can see here as well tasks that uh, have necessarily context to it so for example like this one has a context to being able to like be at your workspace this one requires your it being the internet but you can add those and add more detail to them in a moment. I'll show you how to create a task and things like that. And then down here, you can see show all complete and some of the back end stuff. So you can see some of the databases um, that are all created. But again, if you're somebody that doesn't like that too advanced, then um, that's probably not for you. But this is, might be for you up here. So inbox, really simple area. So as you can see inside of the inbox, I have a task here and I can actually open it up and naturally add my own notes or anything like that. Uh, but if I wanted to create it as a task, I could just simply drag it over to the tasks area 
And as you can see here, it's all done. And if I click into it, I can go ahead and be able to add it some projects that might be suitable. Um, you know, I could add it to project three that's not been started yet, give it a priority level of two, give it some context because I actually don't need, I just need a computer to do that and maybe even associate it to a day. So you can get started going uh, on that task. But what's really nice is you actually have a lot of detail here um, in terms of like uh, how many days left you've got to complete it, what day of the week it's going to be assigned to, and things like that, context levels, which is really helpful. Now, if I were to go to upcoming, you'd be able to see that the, the tasks um, are all sort of in line. So you've got today, next seven days, next 30 days, and January. So you can see a real insight into that. And you can see that bento task that I created is uh, begun created in there, which is really cool. Um, so that's just something uh, very small. You've also got Sunday, which is much more suitable for things that are going to be long term. So you can see a planned trip to Korea as an example, um, and that was created then. But you can have that in a specific Sunday uh, original database. So you want to maybe have those things that are long term goals inside of here, which is very cool. You've also got reference as well. So reference is handy for storing information, files and associating the projects. So almost like partial notes. Um, and that's really cool. So you can see now uh, where it's sort of bringing stuff in. You can see anything that's sort of scheduled for the next couple of days as well. So as you can see, I'm inside the areas, uh, which is uh, an area uh, based. So as you can see, I'm inside of the databases area, but you can access that just simply by going uh, down to the back end. But then what's really cool is you can actually give a name to certain areas that you're working on, a, a, a temp technique inside of GTD, and associate projects to it. So you can see all the personal uh, projects. You can see that these are the projects associated to it, and these are the recurring tasks as part of it. And down here, you can see a list of projects and when you'd like to complete them. So really neat being able to see all of your projects in one glance and also being able to keep capturing stuff inside of Inbox as well. And I like the variety of ways that you can see information. One thing I really like is down here is being able to see that sort of, um, you know, they're being able to organize ahead in advance, uh, which is something that a lot of people sort of don't tend to do. So that was a little bit of a guide into the GTD dashboard. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, please do let me know if you have any comments below. I'm sure Eastlo will get involved in the conversation. Uh, but a big thank you. Hopefully you enjoy his template. I'll include the link in the description. If you're new here, please do subscribe. We do plenty of Notion features. And I'm sure I'll see you in a future video. Thank you very much, folks. And...